On this Earth Day, we take a look at the health of our oceans, which is key to life on land. In tonight's Climate Watch, CBS's Ben Tracy takes us to the Bahamas to show us why protecting the predators of the sea is essential to protecting the planet. Here in the Bahamas, reef sharks are one of the most common sharks that we see. Candace Fields took us to Danger Reef in the Bahamas to see this. Waters teeming with reef sharks. As top predators, they're critical to keeping the balance of fish populations in check so coral reef ecosystems can thrive. They're kind of the kings of the coral reef, right? They're keeping the reef in a in nice harmonious balance. Fields is part of a global shark census called FinPrint. In 2018, it found the five main species of reef sharks had declined 63% and were functionally extinct on 20% of the reefs, largely due to overfishing. But they're thriving here inside what is called a Marine Protected Area, or MPA. You can't come in here and fish for anything. You can't take a thing. Absolutely. It's com complete protection. All right, let's check the camera. We watched as Fields deployed an underwater camera to help count the sharks. Her data is part of a new study to see if MPAs help threaten marine life recover. There are more than 18,000 MPAs covering about 8% of the world's oceans, part of a United Nations effort to protect 30% of the oceans by 2030. So we're on our way to look for people fishing. Yes, sir. But enforcement is key. We rode along with the Royal Bahamas Defense Force on patrol. Stop the vessel. It has seized dozens of boats. They have 46 persons on board. Fining and jailing fishermen and confiscating their often massive illegal catch. Either we chase them away or we catch them, and we've been having um, huge success doing this. So when it comes to enforcement, you guys are the muscle. Yes. These vessels have entered into the Bahamian waters. Part of the brains of the operation is Skylight, a system that helps track the bad guys using a mix of AI and satellite vessel tracking data. So we're using this technology to help focus those patrol efforts. It's something that I think will have a big impact on shark conservation uh, in the future. Hopefully helping the kings of the reef rebound. Ben Tracy, CBS News, The Bahamas.